<laughs> Hello and welcome back to another episode of More Than Macros with me, Laura and Alice. Alice. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you? Alice. Alice. <laughs> Today's episode is basically going to be about people's opinions and how sometimes people just have nothing to say but something that's mean and it should not matter what people's opinions are. You should just do you. For you example, you a prime example is. I could have ironed my t-shirt <laughs> before starting this video because of people's opinions. But you didn't. I'm just doing me. We could be wearing makeup like we did the last two episodes because of opinions. But we can't be asked. Yeah. And this is who we are. And we're not if you don't like it, it, do you want it? <laughs> <laughs> but essentially, I just felt like we could just talk a bit about like us as people why people might like us, why people, why people might not like us, and how we just don't really care. Sounds good <laughs> to me. The be-all and end-all of the story. Um, so, I think, well, should we talk about the kind of, when we made our fitness Instagrams, mm. what happened? Mm -hmm. Because there's a lot of our clients who want to make fitness Instagrams, but they're worried about what other people might think, and this is something that we've both been through. Oh, yeah, we've experienced 100%, this. 100%, we have been through it. We have experienced the like back backlash almost of it, mm -hmm. and but we've also seen where we are now, and it's like, well, it was worth it. Now. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Now. exactly. Um, do you want to start with yours? Yeah. So my so I made my fitness Instagram. It wasn't yours was um, sneaky as well. Like you mine didn't was have sneaky. your name on. No, 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 no. What was um, it called? Again? Oh, what was my first Instagram? Called? I can't remember. It didn't have your name in it though. I remember that because I remember when you changed it. Yeah. I was and like, you were like Ooh. Ooh. and you were like, yeah, who cares? I don't care. Let them <laughs> let them find me. I found Bad my confidence. <laughs> um, oh, it was something to do with Fit because I downloaded the Fit mm. app and that's what made me start it. Yeah. And um, because they had like a communal like Facebook group and stuff mm. and everyone was sharing their Instagrams and I thought. I'm sorry, on, I've got to stop you because I put some lip balm on before this and I've accidentally put it into my mouth and all my front teeth are numb. <laughs> but carry what on. lip balm are you using that's making your teeth numb? It's I mean, it's making your lips numb. Is it a it's the Blistex like, moisture uh, one, so it's like, it's it's for when your lips are crusty like mine. But crusty ass lips. That's, I, didn't, I didn't expect to, but carry on. Carry you on. can't see it or I'll yeah. fine. Good. Numb lips. I'm like inspecting your lips. <laughs> um, carry on. Your fitness interest. Oh, sorry, I, what I was talking about. about so, so much <laughs> looking at your lips now. Um, yeah, so I started it um, based on like the Fit app um, because they had like a community group and whatever. Um, didn't have my name in it. Didn't tell a single soul about it. Like I was, I didn't even tell my boyfriend at the time <laughs> for like ages because um, I was embarrassed. I was like, mm. people are gonna think like. Because I was never into fitness like before. Yeah, really. like why is she all of a sudden? Like, like, who does she think she yeah, is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like who's she? Yeah, literally. Like, um, she's not fit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she's not, she, yeah, she's yeah. not fit. Why is she trying to like be something mm. that she's not? Um, and I'm not really sure when the change came that I was like, am I allowed probably to, when am you I allowed to sweat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> when I was like, fuck it, like this is I enjoy yeah. doing this. Um, people are enjoying seeing what I'm. Do going it. on about yeah you were private as well at one point i was private you? yeah so you know when people mm. have to request to follow you so if anyone found me i could be like no no delete. Yeah, like, yeah. um but yeah and i think for you like you want to like not to toot your own home but you like people are inspired by your journey so why not be public why like, not cares? If, if some people look and like oh whatever like alice do whatever crack on yeah like, that's literally. fine it's, an, it's not you that you're targeting your content to mm. so what's yeah the and then i start so i did it in little baby steps mm. so i like made myself not private and then i changed my name mm. but didn't like post it on my normal instagram or anything like that um like to like reveal it i was like if someone finds me someone finds me mm. and i'll just cross that bridge when i come to it no one found, <laughs> no one found me for ages um and then they did start to find me but i didn't experience like backlashes in people you know? like i thought i thought mm. i was gonna get a lot of shit like pfft. like people yeah. probably said it behind closed doors yeah 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 but a lot of people were like oh like good for you oh yeah 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 mm. um but yeah oh there was something else i was about to say now i've forgotten yeah. can you edit in like a cricket chat <laughs> 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 oh this is brain at mid check-ins um yeah essentially that was that um oh and then i started so i started sharing it onto my 
actual Instagram. Yeah. Like I'll share my Which posts. I didn't even realise that you had an actual Instagram. I was like, I, what you put a personal one? Like, I probably I post on it know. once every six mm. months now. Like I don't even use it anymore. Um, because I just love my fitness Instagram so much. Like, I'm so mm. glad that I started it. Yeah. Um, and now like before I was like, oh my god, I'm so embarrassed for anyone to see like anything I post on this Instagram. And now when I post on my fitness Instagram, I'm, if someone on my personal Instagram doesn't like it, I'm like, eh. <laughs> do you know who I am? Do you not know who me? Like, <laughs> but yeah. No, I Essentially, think... that was me being like... Fuck Which it. is good. And like like you said, no regrets. No regrets. No regrets. Literally none at all. And I think like, when it comes to people's opinions, like people are always going to have an opinion. Oh God, yeah. But, whether like, they, but they even do it whether they not, say it yeah. to you or not, yeah. they're going to have it anyway. So they, you may as well just be like whatever see i feel i feel like that's the attitude that like like i've not always had that attitude but it's definitely something that like oh, i God, yeah, me neither, have actually. now mm. but like i was so scared to post anything fit, fitness related on my account when i first started because like i've not to get deep but like i've always struggled with like people and mm. i don't look i don't look like it i don't sound like no, it, you don't. but like obviously not common knowledge but i had leukemia when i was younger mm -hmm. and i literally spent like three years like out of school like homeschooled yeah. and like all i wanted was to make friends like i'm that person where i'm like i just want you to like me i don't care even if you're a nice person like i just want you to be my friend i don't friend. care what i need to do and, to yeah make and you like i don't me. care what i need to do to make you like me i just i'm sick of being on my own which sounds so depressing but like that's like makes sense though. yeah but like honestly i was so lonely and like in primary school like people wanted to be friends with me because like they could push my wheelchair and things and like i know that that's like like it's, it's horrible to say but like people weren't friends with me because of me they were friends with me because they'd get to leave class five minutes early mm -hmm. or they got yeah. to push me in the wheelchair and i was very 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 aware God, of that's that so sad. i know it's really 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 sad isn't it but like i was very very aware of that in primary school and i was very very grown up for my age because like i had to grow up do you know what i mean and like, even now like that's stuck yeah, with yeah 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 like i had to and then when i went to high school like upper school whatever you call secondary school it was like a fresh chance for me to like make friends and i was like going into it like oh my god like i'm not gonna be known as this girl who's had cancer anymore like i'm gonna meet people at the same time that other people are meeting people this is so excited and then on the first day of school i fell down the stairs okay. and i broke my leg <laughs> so i spent seven months off school <laughs> Lovely so, stuff. <laughs> so when i got to school everyone had already made friends so then i got to school and i was like in this setting where I was on crutches, so I had a class pass that you left 15 minutes early. And again, everybody wanted to be my friend. To leave the class early. Girl again, and I became yeah. that girl again. So I was like constantly trying to escape being this person that people were just friends with because they had like she had privileges. Do you know what I mean? And like because of that, I feel like throughout school, like I really, really, really struggled to find like my identity. And I was mm. constantly in and out of different friendship groups. And it's one of the things where like, I would always do things at my house and invite everybody, but I was never the person that people would invite. Like, I would get invited, mm -hmm. but I was never the first person. So, like, if someone was having, like, a sleepover and or if someone were going somewhere and they could have one friend, that one friend would never be me. Mm -hmm. And I was constantly on the outskirts of friendship groups. And you know what it was like? I was an attention seeker because I just wanted everyone to, to, like to, to know me, to yeah. like me. And, like, it caught up with me in school because, like someone would some so like people knew that that's what i was like not understanding why i wanted friends but like people would like say something to me and I, i'd agree with them and then someone else would say something to me and i'd agree with them and then they'd both come up to me and be like you, you agree with both of us why have you yeah. said that to her and that to me and i'm just like i just want everyone to like me you, you know what i mean like, I'm just, i was just a people pleaser and like throughout school like, i had a really 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 tough time like getting that like i never I never looked at myself and thought, I need to get this from me. Like, mm. I felt like I needed it from other people. Mm. And throughout school, like, people just found me annoying. Like, I would just talk. Bullshit and, bell. But, yeah, bullshit bell. Like, but, but not, like, I just, like, it never came from, like, a malicious place. I just wanted to be friends yeah, with everybody. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's heartbreaking, it's so, so, so sad. <laughs> but then coming to uni, like, that was, like, my little sub story. But, like, coming to uni, like, I could not get out of there fast enough because mm. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know what I wanted. I didn't know my personality. Like I, I finally found like my friendship group when I was in like 
things like in year nine when I started becoming close to my friends that I'm like friends with now and like I knew of them like I dipped in and out but even still then like even my friends will say now like, even though we're like close now what I was always still on the outside yeah. not in like a malicious way but I did come into that friendship group late so like it took me a while to find my feet and because I was so cautious because I'd flipped through other friendship groups where people had turned against me because I'd just tried to please everybody and like do you know what I mean? You didn't really so, how to act who you were, what to do. Know yeah. Who I was, what I wanted to do, where I wanted to go, and I ended up like coming to uni and that's when I was like, Oh my god, like I just felt like this weight had lifted off me and I was like, I could just be me. me. And I I made like friends and like obviously I had like the best uni experience ever. And then I was like, Oh my god, like I've got all these friends, like this is crazy, like people actually like me and I'm just <laughs> being me, like yeah. I'm not trying to make anybody happy, like this is just who I am, and like, and it was it was so nice, cause, and I used to fear going home, because like, I used to fear seeing someone, and instantly, even now if I go home, when I'm around people that I were in school with, I'm like, I don't know how to be my, myself, because I'm just like, they think of me as that person who were annoying and talked in class, or yeah, yeah, yeah. said this but meant this, like, because it's just so difficult to escape, and that, that's, that's almost branded you yeah but that's, but that's not, not me at all who I am and like and obviously like I'm, I'm grown up now but they've not seen me for ages so then when it came to my Instagram my Instagram is my Instagram so I've, mm. n- I've never had like the the fitness Instagram like and my Instagram personal, is my Instagram yeah. so I did make like a private fitness Instagram but then I was just like I couldn't be bothered to go on it so like I made it and then I was like whatever I can't be bothered to do two like you know what I'm like um so my Instagram is is me, like it's everyone who follows me from school. So when I did did start posting fitness content, that's it was really even scary. more scary. Yeah, that's I was really like, scary. I've spent my entire life trying to get these people to like me. People that I don't even like, I want to, them to like. And now me. you're like going against the And now the I'm going against or whatever the saying is. Well, whatever. Now I'm now I'm starting to do this thing. And I'm just so like, uh, mm. like do like, and I, I started doing it like bit by bit, and like it was in lockdown, so like I re- I released a few like a new nutrition guide that was free, and like loads of people shared it, and I'm like okay, like this is it was almost like an acceptance. I was like oh, like people are actually interested in what yeah. I've got to share and stuff, and it felt really nice, and I just thought you know what, maybe these people don't see me like this anymore because I was like it was just an irrational fear that I'd built yeah. up, like do you know yeah. what I mean? Because because I'd gone away, I was so scared of going back. And then, um, but um, some but side yeah. note, I'll put it's so accepting. Like the yeah. fitness community, yeah, it can, yeah, it can have like it's, <laughs> it's, it's downfalls, but it's yeah, so yeah, accepting. that's what I mean. So, but then, like when I got into the fitness community, like it was so like like people were like always commenting on my Supportive. pictures, supporting. Mm-hmm. But then I think it was like three months into me sharing um things on my Instagram that were fitness related and some boys from my school commented on the picture taking the piss. Really? Yeah, so like they commented like, oh my God, and they like copying what other people were saying. And I felt so embarrassed mm-hmm. and I was like it, I knew that these people were gonna be saying stuff behind my back. But now they've actually but, said it. But to now me. that they've said it, I was like one, I didn't think it was necessary anyway. Two, it were people that I did think were my friends. So like it was some boys from the group back home. Like not like close, close friends, but like friends that if I was out, I would dance with them and I'd say mm. hi to them and we've got memories, like we've been to festivals and stuff together. Uh-huh. So like it were people who I did think not besties, but just thought that they would support yeah. me and my yeah. journey. Um and I remember just thinking, I remember waking up and seeing it and I was like, you know what? No, like I'm not going to be felt to be made stupid. And I put it on my story, which fair enough, like maybe I shouldn't have done that. No, but I put, you it, but, I put about. It on, but I put it on my story and I was like, I was scared to make this account. I've made it, then this has happened. It's like and this is not even anything against them, whatever. It was more to say to people. People are gonna say stuff, whether or not it gets commented, whether or not it gets in messages like I don't care like it says more about you yeah, than it does about me absolutely. and you know what like so many girls from school that like girls some some girls like who I genuinely was like scared of in school <laughs> not because like they were mean people but because I wanted them to like me and they didn't yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and they literally messaged me on on Instagram and they were like go you like you should have stuck up to them like you should have like said something yeah 
and like that was just that's my only bad experience I've had with it mm. and see that, that's it, like what I say everything yeah, else, everyone's so supportive like it, it was my only bad experience that I had and literally the boys were like look we thought we were just drunk it was just funny like we were just being dickheads we didn't expect you to take it that way but because I was so in my head about what are people going to think are they going to think this are they going to think that I probably took that in the in wrong the, way completely the wrong way mm -hmm. so like we ended up like in the end just being like you know what but the fact no that, you, blood, the you, know fact that I mean? you called them out on it and then they explained yeah yeah just shows like people are going to say things yeah, exactly. but they don't necessarily, they don't necessarily mean, mean it. it in like a horrible way like nobody is malicious and every like that's what I learned like like in my entire <laughs> experience like no nobody ever goes unless you're a horrible person yeah you which there out, are horrible people yeah either. but you don't go out with the intention of hurting someone especially if you know them personally mm -hmm. and i think like people are always going to say something but it doesn't mean that you should not do that yeah like, everyone's going to have an opinion like bloody donald trump has an opinion doesn't people mean it's agree. right, doesn't people mean agree. Yeah. doesn't mean it's right, doesn't mean it's wrong. Do you know what I mean? Like everyone's gonna have People that are gonna have an opinion and people mm. are gonna say things regardless, whether they say it to your face, mm. whether they say it behind closed doors, whether they say it to your friends, whether they say it to whoever. Or the comment on your bloody Instagram. Or they comment <laughs> on your Instagram. So you might as well do whatever you want. You may as well just do whatever you want. Like I remember well, do what makes you mm. happy because yeah. why are you living a life gone getting Yo, you know what getting it is dramatic? though? I was that was that quote, you come into the world alone. And you leave the world alone. Shit, not so, this. Oh, you know, you come into the world alone and you leave the world alone. So why the fuck are you trying to make up with people after? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> this is a very, very Mike scary... Drop. Um, no, but it's so true. Like, is, why, uh, why make other people happy if mm. it's not making you happy? Exactly. Well, that's, that's at the end of the like day. Coaching, where, like, I love my job, don't get me wrong, mm. but I am so sick of living for other people's lives yeah. i need to live for my own life yeah. and that's why i've put the quiet cap in because i bloody love all my current clients yeah. i will help them till it's like black in the sky or whatever but like i can't stress <laughs> whatever <laughs> i can't like what's that what is it that you black and blue or whatever blue like, yeah, yeah whatever yeah. <laughs> black in the sky. Black in the sky. but like i am no longer going to compromise my happiness to make other people happy because there's other coaches out there that can do it They're just as good a job as i can so or there's a waiting list or they can work with you like do you know what i mean but it's like you just you only have you one are the own main character in your story we are coming so, at you with the quotes so today. why are you caring about these side characters mm. like yeah you're the main meal why are you worried about the appetizer oh how many more quotes can i think of <laughs> 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 like, this is I'm my like point you like dessert. dessert. So if we we're going to go for a free course, which, if I mean, we'd never share it, but we'd, I'd have the appetizer, you'd have the dessert. Yeah. And we'd have to fight over the moon. I'd love a dessert right now. Uh, well, cut life. <laughs> but yeah, I remember when, um, what did people say when you were going to become a PT or a coach? Did you get any, like, grief about that? Do you know what? I didn't. Mm. I didn't. And I think that just goes to show, like, a lot, a lot of the time... Like, they're probably, like I say, they probably say, mm. God knows what, behind closed doors. A lot of the, a lot of the time, if people want to yeah, say something nasty. I'm just surrounded by people that are just, You're like, just surrounded by bitches. Bitches. Yeah. <laughs> but a lot of the time, if people have something to say, they either won't say it to your face. Mm. Which is that just shows... People up here are savage. Like, they'll just t say it out, it's to your face. I mean, <laughs> maybe I just don't care. Yeah, maybe you're not Maybe listening. I just don't mm. care. But I think it took me a lot to get to that point. Yeah, I think I've definitely helped you get to that point. Yeah, that's oh my god, yeah. my attitude. I'm mm. like, you know what, I just can't be asked. And it's Jacob's attitude as well. Like, mm. if Jake, if I ever got rid of all laid back Jacob is, he's oh, so if Jacob laid back. Were he, any more laid he back, he'd be dead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, de or dead. Yeah. But he, like, whenever, say, like, say if me, Jacob, you, and Jack had a fallout, mm. for example, um, I would be saying to Jack, Jacob, like, oh, J Jacob, like, what do we do? Like, we need to, like, make up with them. And Jacob would just be like, they need me in their life more than I need them. Oh, <laughs> that is the move. <laughs> that, would, that would be Jacob. He, he's like, he'd, he'd say, he'd be like, well, you're Alice's coach. I'm Jack's coach. They need us more than we need them. That is something I'm taking that this to the person who attacked me. <laughs> that is something that he would yeah, say. Yeah, that is, Like, he's so, like... If they want to be my friend, they can be, they can, they yeah. can be my friend. But like, that's it. Like, they, you don't need approval from others or whatever. Like. And he always says, like, all the time, like, he's like, I only care about you, me, and things that affect us. That's, yeah. Like, if, if something's going to affect us and our dynamic, then I care about it. Mm -hmm. If something's, which, which is kind of selfish, I guess, but, like, 
You've got to be selfish, but, though, to an extent. He, obviously, he cares about other things. Like, it's not like he doesn't care about, like, world hunger and whatever. But, like, he... <laughs> but, like, as as things that he gives his energy to and worries about, Jacob does not worry about things that aren't of his concern. concern. Like, he doesn't give too much thought to it because it... What's the point? It'll just make him miserable. Yeah. And that's kind of rubbed off on me, but not to the sense that, like, I am still a worrier. Mm. I think that's just naturally just you, who I yeah. am. Like, can't change it. But I am a lot more laid back yeah. than I was. Essentially be more mm. like Jacob. Be more like Jacob. Uh, it's... Something I wanted to touch on as well, oh. sorry. <laughs> is, sorry. I'm like, this is sponsored by Jacob Graham. Absolutely. <laughs> sorry, actually, he's got no, because I've not got five feet to rub together at the minute until payday. Outed. <laughs> You're the same. I I'm the, the same, same, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> Time's tough. What is it? It's 28th of... It's three days until payday. Sunday is payday. Three days until payday. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, where was I going to go? Something I wanted to touch on as well. Oh, in terms of, like, caring what other people think and mm. yada, yada, yada. So... Oh, fuck what people think. Man. Literally. But I just wanted to... <laughs> We're on one this I just morning. wanted to say, like, a lot of the times, you'll make this big thing in your head about what people and think. it's not even that big. And people yeah. don't care. People are too invested in themselves mm. to care. Like, for example, like, we get yeah. a lot of clients. Like Jacob, like, like Jacob yeah. yeah. We get a lot of clients that we need form videos mm. sent to us. We, oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. For safety, mm. for, to make sure people are doing things right and effectively. Well, not even that, just, like, it's, if they hurt themselves... Exactly, for safety. We could just get sued. Exactly. Like, so we need form not, videos like, sent like, to yeah. us. But the amount of messages I get of people saying, I'm too nervous to do it in the gym, I'm too nervous yeah. to film something in the gym. And the, the thing that I always say to them is... So I'll go to the gym, every session I'll, mm. I'll film some exercises... I just put my phone against my water bottle in the corner. People will walk in front of my camera. Oh my god! Every yeah. two seconds, no one's looking. People, yeah. people aren't looking. People don't care. <laughs> I walk in front of other people's camera at the mm. gym because I'm not concerned about them and yeah. what they're doing. I'm there for myself. Mm. So a lot of the time, people don't actually mm. care. And the thing is, as well, what's more embarrassing? Doing something wrong in the gym and everybody looking at you, thinking that she's nearly breaking her back. Yeah. Or filming yourself nearly breaking your back and not doing an exam. Yeah. Exactly. What's more embarrassing, doing something wrong and everybody in the gym noticing you because you've been doing things dangerously. Because they do, like, you do notice. If oh, my God, yeah, you in, see someone's form and you're like... Yeah, like, if someone's doing something really bad in the gym, like, I've gone up to people a few times and just been like, look, I really hope that you don't... You're going to hurt yourself. In, this is, like, in the wrong way, but, like, you're doing... Like, you're being unsafe. Like, if I ever see people on the abductors and they're, like, the knees are against the pads yeah, yeah, and yeah, they're yeah. holding that... And they're lifting their bum off. Oh, yeah. God. It literally, I literally go up to them and I'm just like, look... I don't know why on Instagram you saw that, but no, you're, no, 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 you're no. going to pop your knees out. And the amount of people afterwards that have been like, oh my God, thank you so much. Like, I thought that that's how you were meant to do it and I'm not feeling it in my glutes at all. Mm. I'm like, yeah, because you're not working your glutes, you're working your bloody kneecaps. kneecaps. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, I just think people are always going to have an opinion. And like, it's, I think as well, like with people's opinions, like there was a book that I was reading about the other day, these people... There's people who have, there's like three types of people in the world. There's people that are like, mm, you do you. Mm. There's people that you could literally say to them, oh my God, I've decided that I'm going to stab someone. And they'll be like, oh my God, that's so cool. <laughs> like, yeah, do it. Yeah, whatever. Whereas someone, there's other people that are like, oh my, oh, you'd be like, oh, I've just got a promotion at work. They'll be like, oh, but think of all the hours that you're going to have to work. Yeah. So there's always going to be people who, there's pulley downers and there's uppers. Whatever, and then there's the different term terminology is for that but there's always going to be people that if someone has a negative thought or opinion they tend to have a negative opinion about a lot more than what you're doing yeah so like they, they they're might, just a negative person they're just a negative opinion like whatever mm-hmm. it is and then the positive people are probably positive about a, a lot of things so it's like if people imagine being like that. that negative mm. person just having a negative opinion of I, re- I remember me and jacob had this friend um, not to out this friend at all. Um, still friends with them, but they are one of them people. I'm gonna see if I can where... guess who you're talking about as you go along. <laughs> <laughs> They're one of them people where if you say something to them or like whatever, they are a they are a neggy nancy. So like you'll say, oh, I've just been on like for example, one time me and Jeffy went on a really big walk, and we got back and we were like, oh, we just this was like in lockdown, so we were doing like loads of steps. I've just given away who the person was, <laughs> but we were <laughs> we done loads and loads of steps, and that person was like, oh. Be careful doing that, you'll get arthritis. And I was like, eh? And then when I said that we're going to be a PT, they were like, oh, saturated market that, you won't last. 
and but it's like they always said stuff like that and now you just you've just got to learn to take it on the chin because sometimes people are just like that and that is their personality yeah and that's why if you come across someone who has a bad opinion or has an opinion about what you're doing and it's negative it's, it's not a personal that, attack on you it's not a personal attack on you they're just a negative opinion they're just miserable yeah <laughs> yeah exactly they're literally just miserable mm. why would you want to be like that well exactly didn't you say like when your dad was poorly like he like he had some tablets that made him really yeah negative. and he was just negative mm. about everything like yeah. and it really like, affected people right yeah, like it, it affected our whole family it, yeah. yeah um he's all good now he's lovely yeah, he's, he's a lovely, lovely man he's lovely again isn't he yeah but, like but, it's strange like come, but that's the thing you don't know what someone's going through yeah that's for them true to, as well for them to be like that like they could have had like a really bad day and then they've just seen your post and been like oh stupid bitch that's better before do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And they've just commented it because they've had a bad day. Yeah. Whereas, like, and then you'll go home and take that to heart, when in reality they they just had a bad day and they needed someone to take it out, which is not right. It's no. not right in any way, shape, or form. But like, it's it's one hundred percent fine. Yeah. Like it's it's just life. So moral of the story: <laughs> we've been here rambling forever. <laughs> if you want to make a fitness Instagram, <laughs> if you want to make a fitness Instagram, if you want to do anything. Just if you want to start a it. YouTube channel, if you yeah. want to, like... Oh, my God, that's another one. When I started my YouTube, I was like, no one's going to watch me. Oh, my God. Like, uh, I was so scared when I started yeah. mine. But... Who do I think I am having a YouTube? I don't, it's not for people who, like, my YouTube is for people that genuinely are interested in... That want to watch it. In me. It's and not for not people that want to hate in it. Myself, I don't watch it. Why are you wasting your time? Literally, they're the ones wasting their time. People that comment negative things, mm. people that say negative things, people that want to bring yeah. bad vibes like literally spend, I'm wasting their time like people who argue on the elevator Instagram posts about what people eat she's not eating enough vegetables alright okay well she might have had 10 vegetables yesterday and get today a job. she's had 3 get a job like um, um so we had one um one person shout uh, well start an argument in the comments about um why the person in the full day eating should be eating vegan and not me I'm just like do you do, let people just do let them. Just let people be, yeah. honestly. Just let people be. God, I feel like we're, like, so chilled about life. We're, like, <laughs> do what you want. But, yeah, like, that's that's it. I spent, like, I've spent a long time caring about what other people think. And all it brought me was unhappiness. I care about this hair that's Oh, sorry. Um, but exactly, yeah, like... all it brought me was unhappiness. Like, it didn't... It, it didn't... It, all it, I, it meant, I, for the years, I wasn't who I wanted to be and you look back and you think what a waste of time so not I look, being myself I look back and I, I look back on my entire time in secondary school and I just think what a shame do you know what I mean like all them people who I really 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 wanted to be friends with just for the sake of having friends and it made me more lonely yeah when I could have just been myself and, and think if you didn't have that mental way. switch you'd yeah. still be doing that now you'd just be wasting your life you only get one life live here exactly. live here live your damn <gasps> life live your life <laughs> live your life <laughs> and on that note <laughs> live laugh love <laughs> <laughs> we get that across this world absolutely not <laughs> yeah in that note like i feel like this has been like we've just been just shouting at very, people yeah basically. just like a very different thing like all the stories that we mentioned as well like my experiences your experiences anyone that like was involved in them we have no negative feelings oh, there's at no all. Bad like blood. no bad blood at all because as you can tell we don't care, we don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but we're just talking about our experiences and what how at the time it made us feel but now we don't care we don't care and we want and we're all the better for it all the, yeah exactly and like i'm not a bit as happy as i am now and i think part what? of that is from not caring i i <laughs> we're just gonna be like right clients do whatever you want and just don't care <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> no but like i just think like i'm i'm the same like i am so so happy and like even like even with coaching like there were time when I used when I started doing coaching and people used to just mug me off left right and center mm. and it used to make me so upset like I I once made a plan for this girl did all of her plan she blocked the card payment and PayPal'd me thirty five pounds I spent about six hours doing her work after work because I didn't have the time to do it in work because she wanted it changing oh ASAP God. did it all did her programming did her face planning did everything sent it all over to her two days later i said and then i said to her like oh by the way like i can't process your card payment for the next payment um 
it's saying it's like blocked or whatever and she was like oh what's your paypal i'll send you it so i, I sent that. so i sent her an invoice for the amount of money that she owed and she she sent instead of completing that invoice she paypal it to my email from the invoice 35 pounds and she was like i'm not paying the full price this is what i believe that it's worth and i don't want to continue coaching anymore and i was like my time i value my time you don't value my time and at the time i was like i think i was pissed off for like five minutes and then I was like, you know what? People are just cunts. <laughs> like, for lack of a better word, like, people are, and you can't... That's and people life. that are like that are always going to be like that. Oh, yeah. Like, it, 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 she's always, like... People are, people are just going to be like that. Like, to be yeah. fair, though, I do believe that people can change. People can change, people can yeah. Change. yeah. <laughs> like, I feel, I feel like I'm like... Yeah, I feel like we're, like, we're, like, tarring people with a, with a brush there. Like, people can change, but I genuinely believe that if if someone's put time and effort into you and they're honestly they've not done any wrong by you that you should value what they value their time as mm -hmm. and it's like they're the kind of people that go into a restaurant pay 10 pound a month and get a refund after they've eaten it yeah like there's there's two types yeah. of people in the world there is there is but i had a client i had a client sorry and my my story now <laughs> <laughs> i had a client who has um... turned from opinions to us bitching about past clients no no, no this, this is this is not me bitching about the client this is me bitching about the client so i had this client um i have this client she's absolutely lovely mm. um she's trying to lose a little bit of weight she looks amazing she's done really really well yeah. so far <clears throat> and she um <clears throat> excuse me excuse you that's because you didn't bring a drink that that is because she didn't bring oh you can't have any of mine it's gone <laughs> but she um she went for this like fashion consultation mm. where they were like gonna advise her on clothes you know how to get like a personal shopping oh, trip oh yeah yeah like a bit of a like when you go and get your bras thing like, yeah, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. and uh she picked out some clothes that she liked my friend emily used to be one of them bra people. oh really she's seen some right sides oh mate join yeah, the club, no. <laughs> club midwifery oh god yeah. say no more <laughs> <laughs> these eyes have seen things oh <laughs> yeah but so so she picked out some clothes that she liked the fashion advisor picked out some clothes that she liked and when they like did a big try on and uh so she tried on some clothes that she liked and the fashion advisor was like i wouldn't say that they suit your hips very well like they're not just not made for your body type eh? and i was like hold on mm. a minute and she felt really really how much down was she it. paying for this fashion and i'm not sure but that's what but not to like obviously talk about her financial situation or something but like for someone that could be like how much is it for a personal shopper like that's it's quite a lot. that's quite yeah. expensive so like this might have been a treat that she like saved up money for yeah for then the person to tell her that she were she had big hips yeah nah but I'd then be complaining i'll be getting your money back sis mm -hmm. mm. i was about to say her name then <laughs> yeah but then it just made me think right she was really upset about it mm. um and she was trying to see the point because she's a very very positive person mm. she was trying to see the positives and say like oh but i did pick out some clothes that, I, that were nice as well and mm. blah blah and i thought no who's to say that you can't yeah wear, like say no, a pair of trousers but who's to say what hips suit what like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, why can't, like... Who cares? If you yeah. like it and you, you want to wear, wear it, and wear it. you feel comfortable in it, who cares if you look like you've got a bit of a belly or you've got, or your hips are showing? No. What's wrong with hips? Yeah, everyone's got them. Every, literally, everyone's got them. I store fat on my hips. And you know what? All the time when I put something on, I'm always like, oh, like, am I, like, do my hips look like the, like, got the, like, the, well, the fat's there. So I'm like, does it, does it make me look even, like, more, like, hippie? Mm. But why do I think that? Because we've, it's society that's made us think that. And think, you think that, like, say, for example, I don't, hope you don't mind you know out in you. It's like, it's like hip dip things. Yeah. I wouldn't think that my hip dips were bad. Because that's what they are. Until people hip started dips, talking about it. I wouldn't think that hip dips were bad. Or I wouldn't even be bothered about my jeans showing my hip dips. But the fact that it's been such a thing, get rid of them, get rid of them, get rid of them. It's made me look at them and be like... Oh, I don't want don't to. Don't mind me where I just sculpt my bones, but... Yeah, literally. literally. <laughs> but I hope you don't mind me outing you. Like, your arms, for example. Oh, my they're God. They're like... So, obviously, everyone has everyone that one has thing. thing. Yours mm. is your arms. Yeah, oh, my God, But yeah. you have this complex about your arms yeah. in your head. I look at Laura's arms and I'm like... <laughs> yeah. What, I do yeah. not see what you're seeing. And oh, you've no. said the same thing to mm. me about certain things, like... I don't know where we're going with this now, but you're trying to get... You get what I'm trying yeah. to say. Like my Pringle tube arms. I say this all the time. You know when you know we get a Pringle tube, and the Pringle tube is just like it's just a cylinder. cylinder. It's just a cylinder. 
that's my arms. <laughs> so I say to Alice all the time. But it got it got to the point where like I genuinely did not want to wear anything with my arms showing mm. because I felt like my arms were horrible. But you know what it is. But no one else sees them as mm. pringle chips. It's just I know, in your head. It is literally, and even if head. they do, who doesn't like you pringles? Know what it is, though it's like it's like that that saying of when whenever when you get to X, you'll be happy. You won't because. I never had a complex with my arms, so like, I, it, to be fair, I'm a lot better now than I was like what a few months ago with it. But, oh god, yeah, you are. Definitely. Yeah, like I'm a lot better now. Like I'm a lot more happy with my upper body now. But when I first started training, I was like, I just want to lose fat everywhere, blah blah blah. And then I lost fat everywhere, and I hated my legs. Mm. So I was like, right, okay, I'm gonna do a building phase, and I'm gonna do whatever. And now I f- fucking love my legs, mm. but I hate my arms. Well, I don't hate my arms. I'm not going to use that term. No, you don't hate I don't them, hate but them they're your all. thing yeah, like, that you'd like to change. But yeah, they're my thing. That they're, they're, they're my next thing that I'm going to improve. So it's like I've been training now for like two years, but it's like I someone would look at me and be like, she's my end girl. Do you know what I mean? Like not to toot my own house, but toot my own mm, horn. But people have said but that people, to you. Yeah, but people would be like, I want to look like you. Whereas I've, I, if two years ago, I would look at me now and be like, I want to look like that. Now I'm here, I'm like, no, I want to change, in, not change, but I want to enhance this, and yeah. I want to grow this, and I want to, and I want to get this. And it's like, you'll never be happy. You'll always, you'll always have one thing that's slacking mm. that you'll want to improve to yeah. stay in, com- to stay in competition. And I think bringing that back to people's mm. opinions and things, like, Oh, trends, you, body trends. Yeah, people, mm. like, you will always have your own opinion of yourself and things. Yeah. But a lot of times, other people don't see things mm. that way. Like, I'm sure flipping Beyonce has got a complex about oh something. God, yeah, exactly. And, but people will look at Beyonce and be like, Oh, my God, Beyonce. Girls, yeah. like, look mm. at her. She's probably sitting there thinking, Oh, I wish I could change this, this, this. Yeah. I mean, like, well, imagine what she feels like because she's had kids and kids, stuff now. Yeah. So, like, all the, like, iconic Beyonce stuff is, like, Pre baby, mm. so imagine how she feels looking at people advertising that still, yeah. Looking at people advertising what she looked like pre baby, knowing that her body's now completely different, mm-hmm. which is in, not, not different in any form of bad way. No, but no, it's no, just, it's just She's had babies just now, like, yeah, like, and that's another thing. Like, people always compare themselves to like their younger self. Like, when you're 30, you look back at like when I'm, I'm 25 now, I'm like, I look good when I was 18. Do you mm. know what I mean? And then when you get to 30, you're like, oh, I wish I looked how I did when I was 25. 25. When you get to 40, you're like, oh, I wish I looked how I did when I was 30. It's like, you're always going to, like, your opinion's going to change throughout your life. Or you can be as you. We were going to end this about 10 minutes ago. But I think we've got on a tangent. We've moved away from tangents. people's opinions yeah. and have moved on to our opinions. But Yeah, and our complexes. Literally. But What's the time? Five past 12. Mm. I have an appointment at half 12. Yeah. So. We can wrap it up. Should we wrap it up? Yeah. Yeah, we have gone off on a big, big, big tangent. Basically, just don't care about Some Sum, sum this episode up in one quote. Go. Um... <laughs> that... Oh, God, 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 in my head. Um, we sum it up in, in, in one word. Um, oh my god, you're gonna have to go first. Okay, I've got two. Mm-hmm. One is you do you. That's three. You no do quote you. one quote. Oh right, okay. Quote. You do you quote. quote. You do you. <laughs> and the second one is people are gonna think what they think anyway. So you may as well just do it. So do what fuck you. As long as it's safe and not legal. As long as you're not hurting anyone. Oh, it, it could be illegal if you wanted it to be. But as long as it's not like <laughs> <laughs> you could like sexy wink. I'm like. That was not a sexy wink. Wait, do you see that back? It was not. <laughs> it was like, I was, <laughs> I always like, sexy wink. Oh my god, no. Wink it, Laura. No, 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 no. <laughs> I always try to wink at Jacob and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> You're right, that's like you're right. <laughs> he literally is like, contact link still. <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm one of the people where like if I wink, my entire <laughs> my entire face just scrunches. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not I'm not good at it. I'm the least sexiest person ever. I were having this conversation with Jake but the other day actually. This is PG because he says I'm not sexy. But I said <laughs> I said to him, I was like, Do you think like I'm sexy sometimes? And he was like, No. <laughs> Like I was, like, uh, he was like, you were like, you just, you just not, <laughs> but not in like. I mean, I'm not like if I, was, like, <laughs> if I was to do like, if I was to do like some kind of like dance or something, I'd probably stub my toe. Do you know what Literally, I mean? Literally, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> why do people sexy 
dance then. Oh my not god. For me. Not for me. Maybe like if me and Jacob ever get married, I'll like learn like a lap dancing course or something. But if we're on your wedding day. Oh god. Uh, the first dance. Me and John and Julie will be standing there as long as my dad will be standing there like <laughs> for watching main message that we want to say is that people are going to have an opinion it's not always an attack on you as a person it might just be that they've had a bad day or that they're quite a negative person anyway or it genuinely might be that they just thought that you'd take it as a laugh and mm. it weren't like in my situation with them boys from school they mm. thought that i'd find it funny i didn't and then it was resolved and then it was resolved yeah so just do you be happy do whatever you want to do because at the end of the day what's that one the people who care yeah. the people who matter don't care and the people who care don't matter boom high five <laughs> <laughs> bye